One, two, three, four. Every year, Color Pass Team has a thing they call the Iguana Fund, where they grant money to people to either you know buy new equipment, recording studio stuff, uh, vans, or um, you know like we're doing um, this big recording project where we're taking a lot of people from the community and they're covering their favorite artists. So um, you know, we have a bunch of people who you know, I basically just reached out to and said, uh, if you want to choose a song from someone who you really respect, uh, you know, we have time in the studio, come on over and we'll kind of make it happen. Seems like you're trying to hide your hand. Seems like you're blaming for all this and maybe more and some things don't go as you planned. You left me so unsure, I left you insecure and don't you want to make amends? My name is Eva Walsh and I am a musician in town. I play the fiddle, I sing, I write songs, and I kind of just like to be around a lot. <laughs> Um, I chose uh, a song called uh, Secret Sounds. It's by Alison Francis um, when she was playing in a duo group called Hound City. And it was, <laughs> it, it was actually a song that I fell in love with when I heard her um, at the house shows that she used to play ar around the Boston area. Um, and she was kind of my hero, my local music hero early on when I was here. She, she was kind of responsible for me meeting a lot of people who changed my life. And um, I don't think she really realized that. <laughs> but um, I do love this song and it's, I, to me it's just kind of perfect in so many ways. My name is Ryan Fitzsimmons and I am a, a local musician uh, to the Boston, Somerville, Camberville, Cambridge, you know, whatever scene, uh, and it's a good place to be. So, so the song that we did today was, was Helen Rose, which was written by Greg Klima uh, with help from Jonathan Bird. Uh, both amazing songwriters. Uh, Greg lives here, uh, right in Somerville, um, and is, is one of the best writers I know. Uh, really uh, amazing writer, and this is a very good example of what he does. The song, I, it has a lot of uh, personal meaning to him. Um, I think for a large part it's a true story, um, but I, I've always been drawn to it. It has that this, this really strong melody, and uh, and this, this uh, you know, kind of amazing story uh, of his grandmother and, and her, uh, her interaction with his family. And, you know, it's, it, it, always, it, it always stuck with me it, from the first time I heard it. Had three children, yes I did. Junior was the one who lived. Frankie Junior fell in love. With a girl named Alexandria. Now and day she lays our clothes. For me, my name is Helen. Don't know what he saw in her She was just a village girl Never thought that much of Sloan Or anyone who called it home When we said our first hello I said, girl, my name is Helen Rose. She gave me grandchildren three. Um, and then the 
band today, I had uh, had Jim Larkin and uh, Lawrence Scudder. Jim Larkin on drums and bass, Lawrence Scudder on viola. Lawrence plays, uh, and Jim, both of them, they are, are two of the busiest musicians in town. Lawrence plays with Dietrich Strauss and uh, Daniel Moralia and uh, boy, just a litany of, of amazing folks. And, and uh, same with Jim, actually, both of those statements I just made are true for, for Larkin. He also plays the Jesse D in his band, uh, both bass and drums. Um, usually plays drums with me, um, but has done bass, so today we, we, we just tapped him for both, um, and so it's just very cool. Um, and those guys are, are two of the hardest working folks in the community, so, uh, and, and amazing players and good dudes, so it was, it was a lot of fun. Halstead. This is Danielle Morelia. I've I've come to like make all of these friends in the Cambridge and Somerville music scene and in Boston as well and just I've grown exponentially as a musician because of that. So, and to and Club Hasim is probably one of the main reasons why I've grown so much. So, well, you you, know. you grow when you're around people who are who are doing it and who are you you know you learn from each other. You yeah. learn from the people you watch. Um, you also I do think I also think like when you first start out, the Boston crowds can be like you have to step it up for the Boston crowds a little bit. <laughs> My city's had a lot of trouble sleeping She's up all night And breaking through the windows and the ceiling Scraping stars from the skies And my city's made a habit out of crying All through the night Well, they say she likes the harmony of sirens And the time of the traffic lights But I love my city My sleepless city I do sleep in for free Yeah, I love my city my sleepless city she can do my crying for me so so thank you so much to to uh sam margolis and andrew kramer for for hosting us um thank you to club passim for for you know letting us do this and trusting that we're going to do a good job and you know not waste the money that you've you've graciously given us uh, but we have a, a whole host of musicians. We have um, Ian Fitzgerald, uh, Eva Walsh, Mark Whitaker, Dan Blakesley, Ryan Fitzsimmons, Jim Larkin, Lawrence Scudder, Jess Fox, uh, Jeff Charland, um, Mike Spaley, Chuck Melchin, Patrick Coleman. There's a lot of people. Um, Danielle Moralia, um, Janae Halstead, and um, Mark Kiliansky, Lucas Poole, and I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. And thank you to Idlewild and Connor Milligan for, for you know coming here and 
standing over there and shooting me right now. Yeah, I love my city, my sleepless city. She can do my crying.